Bernie Sanders is now preaching Democratic Party unity to face the threat of Donald Trump. It seems to me... Outside the convention hall, his supporters were listening to him speak, but they're not prepared to back Hillary Clinton. There was outrage at the WikiLeaks release of internal Democratic Party emails showing supposedly neutral officials actively colluding against their candidate. But this was the same outrage that led them to back Sanders against the establishment in the first place. It's just all corrupt, completely corrupt. I am fully convinced that the entire Democratic Party establishment was behind the whole, whole scheme from the very beginning. The resignation of the DNC chair isn't enough? Absolutely not. Um, Bernie, you know, Hillary needs to step down. Absolutely. Also protesting in the streets of Philadelphia, Jill Stein, the Green Party's presumptive presidential nominee. She shares many of Bernie Sanders' policy positions and is even more progressive on foreign policy. She's hoping to attract those disaffected Sanders supporters. It confirms people's worst suspicions. People won't vote for Hillary because they don't like her and they don't trust her. And all of those doubts have now been confirmed. Why do you think Bernie, though, is still remaining loyal to a party that has actually clearly colluded against him? That is an important question, but I think it's clear Bernie is a man of his word. He's been very out front about this from the start, and maybe there's a generational difference. Maybe he still thinks of the Democratic Party as the New Deal Party. For people who've grown up, you know, more recently, it's clear we are not getting a New Deal, we're getting a raw deal. The city says it's expecting 50,000 protesters on each day of the Democratic Convention. The protesters outside City Hall on the convention's first day remain defiant. Shia Bertansi, Al Jazeera, Philadelphia.